Hello everybody and welcome back for today's video of DIY investing. Today I'm giving you guys a quick update with Bitcoin. We're going to be diving in and looking at three different altcoins that I've talked about in the past that have been able to produce some significant gains thus far and I do expect more to be coming. These coins were recommended to me by one of the members inside of my Discord so if you guys ever have recommendations feel free to drop them inside of my Discord server or the comments of this video. If you guys want access to my Discord server, please click the invitation link in the description of this video and there you're gonna get access to all of my private analysis. I apologize for my lack of uploads. I've been really busy with the second business that I've been working on out here in the oil field and so it's been requiring me to take a lot of time towards that so I apologize if I haven't been able to upload as much as you'd like. Today I wanted to get back and get in the habit of doing so because I do expect some very great things to be coming with crypto as indicated by Bitcoin's recent run that we're seeing right now. So with all that being said, Let's get right into it today. Welcome back everybody. We're gonna dive right into it today by taking a look at Bitcoin, XRP, Cosmos, and Cardano. These are gonna be our three altcoins along with a Bitcoin update. So for today, I figured the best way to start this video is by taking a look at Bitcoin, obviously. Now, I apologize that it's been so long since I last uploaded, last updated you guys. It's just because of the fact like I have a second business that requires me to spend time towards, specifically when we have a lot of work. Kind of what I do is I run a staffing company where uh, oil field companies will come contact us and they'll say, hey, like we need guys uh, for this position and then we'll staff those jobs for them. And so that's kind of what I've been doing. We've had a lot of work and so I've been super busy recently. Um, but I'm finally back here and ready to make a video for you guys. So we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin and kind of talking about this overall parabolic move that we saw here. Now, things are at a point where they are very, very, very euphoric. A lot of people are FOMOing in right now, as indicated by just how quickly we've started uh, impulsing out of here. We're seeing those major, you know, thousand dollar candles coming in here and it's becoming pretty much a common occurrence. So what I'm watching out for with Bitcoin is the fact that I had this 10K resistance level and we smashed through that. And so what we're kind of seeing now is a little bit of a retrace, whether we're going to come all the way back down and retest this 10K support. I'm not sure, but we have broken out of a major psychological resistance, which is always a key indication that things are about to go very parabolic. Now we have a couple more resistance levels, kind of what I'm watching for is one right here that takes us to about 11.5. Um, this is going to be my next major psychological resistance before we have one final one here at 13.5. These are going to be my next three resistance levels. We've already broken, well actually two since we've already broken the 10K resistance and we've kind of made that short term stab at the 11.5 but we're kind of watching and seeing exactly what's going to happen how parabolic this is going to get um, if things continue to impulse and if we can break this 11.5 uh, area right here and if we break out of this and continue to hold support realistically speaking i think that we hit this 13.5 level because uh, that's really the only major one that i can see as far as that goes but we're kind of just consolidating in between the two levels waiting to see what's going to happen whether we come back down and retest this 10k support whether we continue to go up and impulse even higher, we're gonna have to watch and see. But it's a lot easier for me to just kind of show you guys these zones when things go parabolic, because it's hard to say exactly how high it's gonna go. There's a lot of euphoria that comes into Bitcoin in such a thriving parabolic market that we're seeing here. And so there's really no point trying to call a, trying to call a top. Indicate your levels. I like to use support and resistance because it's easiest. Indicate your support and resistance levels and just watch for price to either break out of those levels or get rejected off of. And that's how you can kind of help to make your, make your strategy whole. Now, what we're seeing here based off of my Elliott wave count is we had our one wave and now we're working on our three wave still. We're almost to the top of the three though, which is great. Things have gone way more parabolic than I was ever expecting. Um, but overall, this is very good for Bitcoin and it's good for the altcoins too. Even if you're somebody that's accumulated a lot more altcoins and you missed out on a lot of this Bitcoin profit here, uh, it's really not a big deal and it's not something you should beat yourself up over because this money, specifically in Bitcoin, when Bitcoin finds that short term top, that money is going to come into these altcoins. Um, and so that's really what you should be focusing on is the fact that we still have a lot of upward trajectory to go inside of the markets. now. This was our one, we're working on our three. How high the three is gonna take us is yet to be determined. We had our one of the three, we had our three of the three, and now we're working on the five of the three. But the five of the three looks to be 
um, close to our five wave completion. So I'm watching specific, specifically for where we are going to find that short term retrace. And I've given you guys these zones that I'm watching out for. We've got this short term resistance here at about 11.5 and then we have another one at 16 or 13.5. And so this is what I'm gonna be watching out for. Um, after this, I would expect us to see a 30 to 40% sell off. And so let's say that we retrace here at about 11.5. 30% retrace is going to take us to about 8,000 and a 40% retrace is going to take us to about 6,800. Um, but like I said, guys, it's possible that we go even higher than that. Let's say that we break out of this psychological resistance at 11.5, then the next major resistance for me is going to be about 13.5. Now, a 30% sell-off from 13.5 takes us to about 9,400 and then a 40% sell-off takes us to about 8K approximately about 88k to 8100 um, so what we're seeing guys is Bitcoin going so parabolic that a lot of these lower support levels that we saw here I'm not expecting us to fill I don't expect us to come drop all the way back down to 6500 because of just how parabolic things have gotten thus far um, with the previous retraces that we've seen after cycle highs uh, inside of Bitcoin you generally see a 30 to a 40 percent retrace and so I'm expecting this cycle to really be no different it's just we're waiting to see exactly where the top is of this move. It could be what we saw here. Um, this could be our short-term top. It's like I said, guys, we're going to have to watch and see. But this is why I like to indicate using these levels. We did break out of 10K. So as long as we hold support over 10K, then I would expect us to come back and stab and make a few more uh, rejections or break out of this 11.5 area. We're just going to have to kind of watch and see. But these are going to be my areas of interest. Um, whether we can hold support at 10k since of the breakout, whether we can break out of 11.5 and then the next realistic target is going to be 13.5. And so guys, this is very exciting for crypto, very exciting for the altcoins. My best personal advice I can give you in this time would be uh, if you haven't taken any profits, continue to scale out, take some of those profits and look to take those profits and rebuy the dip because there will be a retrace that's going to come from this move. And like I said, 30 to a 40%. And so take those profits and look to aim to buy at a lower price because Bitcoin will retrace. It can't go parabolic forever. And if it does, then I guess I'm an idiot and I have no idea what I'm doing. But speaking from the past experiences of trading the last cycle with Bitcoin, I can say that I am expecting a significant retrace. And so there's no point in get, getting caught up in the euphoria and trying to FOMO in right now when you could just aim to buy at a lower point, which I would expect Bitcoin to retrace to. So this is what I'm going to be watching out for Bitcoin. Overall, still working on this three wave impulse before we'll have a four wave retrace and then we'll final final we'll finish off with the five wave impulse up that'll complete our one wave so overall guys seeing bitcoin go this parabolic is just a beautiful sight to see because this thing is going to fly and it's going to be such a bigger cycle than anything we've seen before even though the percent returns aren't going to be as significant as some of these previous cycles the parabolic nature of Bitcoin is going to be astronomical. And so really, guys, the best advice I can give you is just accumulate, buy the dips, buy the dips. Don't get caught up buying when everybody else is um, in euphoria and when you're seeing all of this FOMO going on. Aim to buy the dips that are going to happen and take place because that's where you're going to really set yourself up for a significant return when it comes to Bitcoin trading. Now, next up, we're going to be taking a look at Cosmos. Now, Cosmos is one let's go take a look at it over here cosmos is a chart that i posted in my signals because i noticed that it was following a very solid accumulation cycle and it's one that i've actually had the opportunity of seeing um, back in the earlier days with some of these newer coins that get added to an exchange and then they make insane hype cycles to follow and so this green box here was where i told everybody to buy inside of my signals um, shout out to those guys that did buy because you're currently sitting in a pretty decent amount of profit currently looking at about you know close to 50% 45 50% profit thus far I'm actually still holding this I do expect this thing to go very significant as far as a new hype cycle and so I'm just kind of holding on to this but I made this call um, back here in my discord server I said that we'd get a breakout we kind of consolidate make this rounded bottom before going up and that's very similar what we saw it was a little bit more parabolic than I expected but you can't really go wrong with that that's just a good sign overall and so kind of what we're seeing is there's two different options here now what I'm watching out for is if we're about to continue to go up in the cycle with Bitcoin breaking out and going higher 
you know that's always a very likelihood possibility especially with alts generally sticking to bitcoin cycles but there's also another one that i'm watching out for and that could be that this is something like an abc retrace uh, before we drop back down and retest about five dollars and twenty cents somewhere right around there before we do go higher still But overall guys, this is one that I'm just kind of holding on to uh, I bought it a low enough point that I'm not really too worried about my risk to reward um, I bought it a pretty least risky point right in the middle of this asymmetrical triangle And now we've broken out of that and so really for me I'm just looking to hold on and take those profits as I scale out into this next cycle because I do expect this hype cycle to be very significant. So that's what I'm gonna be watching out for with Cosmos. Next up, we're gonna be taking a look at the great Cardano. Now, the reason why I'm taking a look at this is because it was recommended to me inside of my Discord server. Um, shout out to Crypto Digits, he's my moderator in there and he does an awesome job posting very insightful articles and just having good quality discussion inside of there as always. So shout out to him. Um, but we're going to be taking a look at these altcoins today specifically because that was what was recommended to me by him um, But today we're going to be looking at specifically Cardano So next we're going to be looking at Cardano because there's a couple key levels that I'm going to be watching out for with this now First time I talked about Cardano was right here I said that this and Digibyte were good for the long term. Now is a good time to be looking to take buying ladders because we had a full retrace after a significant hype cycle. And from there, we've basically just continued up on our uptrend. Um, not anything, nothing has gotten too crazy, but you have made significant profits if you followed that call, about 134%. And it looks like we're about to go much higher. Now my first short term target, I made a signal. We bought the bottom here on this retrace and I said a lot, uh, 111 was my target which takes us about right here um, and we are very close to hitting that and I, I do expect us to actually surpass that far surpass that and so realistically my first major target is going to be right here at about 100 or actually 13 cents and then I have another resistance level that I have marked here at about 36 cents now many of you guys might be looking at this and you might be thinking you wow that guy's crazy there's no way that this thing's gonna go that high but if you also remember my first video talking about this when I called that it was a good buyback down in here I made a very key uh, I made a very key observation and what I was comparing Cardano to back down in here was early day XRP now if we come back and take a look at early day XRP you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about Let's drop this to a regular time frame or chart, I guess I should say. Uh, with XRP, we had a hype cycle, right? Hype cycle, things go very parabolic, and then we retraced. We made a full retrace before making a nice impulse on the upside in a, uh, what I guess you could call a relief rally. Now, where this relief rally took us was to some of these lower highs that we saw on the initial sell-off down. Now, if we compare that to Cardano now, we're going to see basically the same pattern play out. We saw a very impulsive hype cycle, prices fully retrace, and now we're kind of seeing the aftermath of that relief cycle that's gonna come. And so for me personally, I don't find it uh, unlikely out of the realm of possibilities that we do come up and retest some of these higher, uh, lower highs that we saw here. And if we do so, I mean, at current levels, uh, if you bought today, you're looking at about 280% um, to some of these levels. And so that's a very, that's a very, very uh, impulsive move that we could expect to see here. And so I'm not writing this off on the, the possibilities of what we could see with this initial rally, rally up. And especially with Bitcoin going so parabolic, guys, it's really not unlikely at all. And I'm thinking that we could very easily see something like this. It's the big reason why I made the comparison back down in here. And so this is what I'm going to be watching out for with Cardano. Overall, I've been able to make a significant amount of profits off of this thus far, and it only looks to be getting better from here. So next up, we're going to be taking a look at our final altcoin today, and that is XRP. Now let's remove all drawing tools. Let's drop it to a log chart, and let's go take a look at specifically why I'm so excited about XRP. Now let's go to a three-day time frame, and we can see that we're starting to get a breakout of this little... Now, you could call it a pennant, you could call it a symmetrical triangle, whatever the hell you want to call it, it's all the same. We're breaking out of that and we're about to go higher. So my next target is going to be about 60 cents. 
I wouldn't be surprised if we come up here and hit close to 70 cents at about 68 cents. So anywhere from about 60 cents to 68 cents is where I would expect us to kind of top out from this move. But like I said, guys, it really just depends. We could see things get very parabolic with this market and we will at some point 314 days which is about 10 months of consolidation and accumulation that we saw at these lows here. Now, obviously, somebody that's been around with crypto for a while, and I'm not even talking about myself necessarily, but if you've been around here for a while, you'll know that the longer that we consolidate and we accumulate, the bigger that the hype cycle is going to be on the upside. And so with XRP being a top five altcoin for the last five years, what really is an indication telling you that this isn't going to continue to go up? Because really, in my opinion, there's nothing saying that this is just going to be a dead project. There's more bullish sentiment in this market than really any other one for that matter. Even though many people will hate on Ripple, say it's centralized, they say this and that, it's the banker's coin. And while all of that might be true, I just follow what's going to make me the most money because that's really all I care about. And if you care about anything else, I mean, maybe it works for you, but I like to keep my, uh, I like to keep my, my uh, biases strictly towards what's going to make me the most money because that's what's going to be the most important to me i don't care about which one of these hold the course of bitcoin cycles i don't really care which ones survive after we have the blow off top that takes us you know 100 200 300 400 thousand dollars per bitcoin i don't know it doesn't matter to me what i do know is that this cycle is setting up just like this one here just like this one here just like this one here and what happens is a very parabolic run. So I'm accumulating, we have nice volume coming in here, we accumulated sideways for 10 months. I mean, these are all very valid indications that this thing is about to fly. And so I'm accumulating, I've been accumulating since down in here. If you follow me, you'll know that I've been excited about XRP. Was a little bit worried here towards the end of this, but we did get a breakout. So with the markets all picking up, with Bitcoin going parabolic, there's really no reason to think that these aren't gonna follow suit. And what we're seeing right now is the bullish perspective things are breaking out things are continuing to make higher highs and so for me personally now is the time of accumulation from current prices today if you bought right now um, you're looking at probably close to about a 700 percent return to all-time high takes us to about yeah 700 percent to all-time highs now where exactly are we gonna go in this next cycle because if we follow anything of what happened down here Really, guys, my first target's $9. Um, I think that that's a realistic target that we could hit, which is about 18x return. Um, but the thing is, guys, I, I do expect us to go higher than that. Um, and a lot of people will kind of hate on me for saying this right now, but I really would not be the least bit surprised if we saw something close to a $30 XRP, which is about 60x returns from here. Now, the reason why I say that I don't find it unlikely that we could see something like this is for the simple fact, guys, XRP reminds me a lot of early day Bitcoin. Now, when I first got into Bitcoin, I bought my first Bitcoin at, let's drop it over here. I bought my first Bitcoin at $450. So right about here, right before we broke out, before the second halving. And so I remember this cycle because this was the first cycle that I ever had the opportunity of trading. And it's one that made me a pretty significant amount of money. Obviously speaking, Bitcoin went to 20K. And that's why I'm here doing this today for you guys. And so, what we saw with Bitcoin was a consolidation, or I should say accumulation, of you know about 280 days. 280 days we accumulated sideways. And what happened was a very, very, very impulsive cycle on the way up. Now what we're seeing with Ripple is even though we didn't quite hold quite the bullish stance where Ripple just tanked off of its all-time high and really kind of rounded out, Bitcoin uh, accumulated for relatively the same time. And that's kind of what we saw with Ripple here. Ripple accumulated for 10 months, about 314 days, and we're still kind of in that accumulation cycle. For me personally, I'm still a buyer in this time um, because this is going to be the best time you can buy. Even though we're kind of bouncing out of these lows, we're still in significant lows compared to where we will be in three years. And I can't stress that enough, guys. Really the best thing that you can do, and one of the biggest mistakes that I made in the past was not buying enough in the lows, not holding long enough, and then not taking as many profits as I should have. And I'm not gonna make this same mistake. 
Um, I've been buying a lot of Ripple in here. I'm still buying a lot of Ripple through here, and I will continue to do so on any retrace that we see because I do expect Ripple to have a significant rally. Now, many of you guys will narc on me saying that this is wrong because for Ripple to go to $30, it needs trillions of dollars in the market cap, and I know that. I'm not stupid. I understand how much money realistically has to flood into these markets for them to go to these price levels, but the thing is, this is all speculation. We don't know how high they're gonna go. We don't know what's gonna happen with crypto. With what I believe crypto is going to bring to society, and specifically this new age that we're venturing in, there's so much more value in this market than there ever has been previously in the world. There's more money in the world that can now flood into cryptocurrencies, and not only that, but blockchain technology as a whole. Cryptocurrencies are just one aspect, and the cryptocurrencies kind of give us a way to monitor the value of these blockchain projects. And so in a way that they're a stock, in a way that they're a currency, in a way they're a store of value, in a way that they're just a company, they're all of these things combined. And so why is it so unrealistic to think that trillions of dollars can't flood into some of these? I find it unlikely to think that uh, it's not possible because I think that it's very, very possible that we see this. And we're going to see it with Bitcoin. Um, with Bitcoin, guys, you if you were a part of this last cycle, you'll know how crazy things get. This was at a time when there really wasn't any institutional investors, there really wasn't a whole lot of demand as far as cryptocurrency. This was all just kind of fun money playing around in the market. And look what fun money did to it. It went to 20K. Now we're seeing institutions starting to come into crypto. We're seeing major corporations. We're seeing all of these big, great, wonderful things flooding into cryptocurrency. And we're starting to see the most parabolic cycle that we've ever had up to this point. And so what is telling you right now that with the way that the last cycle behaved, what is telling you that this next cycle that we're in now isn't gonna behave exactly the same? In fact, I believe it's gonna be much bigger. There's gonna be way more money flooding into this, even though the percent return isn't gonna be as great with Bitcoin. I'm telling you that this thing is going to fly and a lot of these altcoins are gonna follow suit, specifically the ones that have proven themselves and have been able to hold the course of Bitcoin cycles. Ripple being, the prime example of that. You could also count Litecoin, you can count Ethereum, but I mean, Ripple is one that I'm very excited about because out of all of the majors, it's gonna give you a significant percent return on investment. And it's always continued to do so. So Ripple for me is the one that I'm watching out for out of all the high caps. It's the one that I'm most excited for. There's a few others that you guys know I'm excited for, but Ripple being that one that I just have a good feeling about. And so really, I don't find it unlikely that we could see a 100X return. <laughs> now, I know I'm raising my targets significantly here, but that puts us at about $50, which seems just seems crazy unrealistic, but I really would not write it past this. Watch this video in three years, and we'll come back and really kind of see what exactly happened with crypto because, you know, I make these videos now, and this is all speculation, but I really would not be the least bit surprised if these targets are met and even surpassed in some crazy way. Um, like I said, guys, this is all speculation. We don't know what's going to happen with crypto. We don't know how many trillions of dollars are going to flood into this market because I can say that based off of me being around since 2016, seeing the last cycle play out, seeing the last cycle play out with any without any institutional investors, I am very hyped about this current the one that we're in now. And I, you know, I'm very euphoric right now, and we haven't even seen the rise yet. And so. I'm just very concentrated on taking positions, accumulating while everything is very cheap, adding more positions as we retrace and make significant sell-offs from highs that we're gonna make on the cycle up. And so the, really this is all the advice I can give you. This is all I can say. This is what I'm gonna be doing personally. This is not financial advice. This is just what I'm doing. This is my own personal strategy and kind of what I'm seeing with the crypto market as a whole. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you want more updates on my analysis, do myself a favor by joining my Discord server. You can find the invitation link in the description of this video. So click on there and you'll get access and you'll get to see a lot more of my private analysis in there. So thank you all so much for the support. I will catch you in the next one. As always, peace out.